Hi, what's up everyone? Today we're going to take a look at the Filtrox EOS M2 Speed Booster for your Canon M50. Is it really going to make your M50 a lot better? Let's find out. I'll also tell you why I'm keeping both the Filtrox Speed Booster and the Canon EF2 EOS M adapter. Let's get started. Should you get the Filtrox Speed Booster? The short answer is yes. Thanks for watching. Wait, 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 no, no. Let's talk about the reasons. This speed booster is going to increase the viewer view of your M50, which means you will be able to get closer to what the actual lens focal length is. The math is quite simple. Well, it's kind of complicated. Let's take a look. Without the speed booster, you will have about 1.6 crop on all your lenses because the M50 is an APS-C camera. If you have a 50 millimeter lens, it will be 50 times 1.6, which will change the focal length to about 80 millimeter. You'll get a much tighter view of you without any speed booster. That's why cameras like the M50 will usually require much wider lenses in order to have a wider view. With the speed booster, the focal length is now being magnified by 0.71 times. I really don't know why they have to put the one there. Hey, we're trying to be precise here. So now you have the times 80 millimeter with 0.71, which will give you about 57 millimeter. And that's very close to the original focal length of 50. So if you need a wider view of view, this speed booster is going to help you out. Trust me, it is much wider than without it. The next big reason why you should get the speed booster is to improve low light performance. This is probably more important than wider view because low light situation is always not the best for APS-C cameras like the M50. As I said in my M50 review, which you can check out there, the highest ISO I would recommend is 1600 on the M50. If you go with anything higher, you will start seeing noises in your image and that will really ruin the shot. With a speed booster, I don't know how they do it, you will literally be able to trick the camera to think that you have one more stop of light on your lens for better low light. For example, if you have an f4 lens, like my Canon 17-40 f4L lens, you will be able to have the option to go lower with the aperture to f2.8. Your image will be much brighter. And you can even lower your ISO to about half to get the same exposure. That's awesome. By the way, this 17 to 40 millimeter f4 lens is the best budget Canon L lens that you can get right now. Definitely check it out in the description below. This speed booster will save you a lot of money because if you take a look, any lens with lower aperture, even just by one stop, let's say from f4 to f2.8, it's much more expensive and heavier than the f4 version. The closest comparison of my 17 to 40 millimeter f4 would be the 16 to 35 f2.8 and the price difference is more than $2,000 Canadian. Of course, the image quality on a more expensive lens is better, but not so much to a point that I have to spend the $2,000 more. By having that one extra stop, you will also get a blurrier background. That's amazing. Everyone loves bokeh, bokeh, bokeh. I still don't know how to say it. Oh, the last pro that I want to talk about is, of course, the Filtrox Speed Booster is also an adapter for you to mount your EF, not EFS lenses onto your M50. It will not work with the EF-M lenses. So if you are planning to invest into EF lenses like myself, this is going to work for you. The first thing I wish Filtrox can do a little bit better on this Speed Booster is quality control. The Speed Booster feels pretty cheap. Not price, but quality. The back of this adapter is made of plastic compared to the metal mount on the Canon adapter. The pin that it uses to lock the lens is really finicky. It wiggles. Sometimes it doesn't even lock in properly. So make sure you double check when you are putting on a lens. Also, it has a lot of play when it is mounted on the M50. I think that's how they call it. It basically wiggles and turns quite a lot. It is not going to affect the performance, but it is, doesn't feel solid. Another thing about the quality is the M2 speed booster will kind of reset and disappear after not using the camera for a while, let's say one night. The wider view will still be there because that's a physical magnification of using the glasses inside, but your camera will not be able to get that extra stop of light. The f2.8 will disappear on my f4 lens. You will have to take the battery out of the camera and put it back in in order to get it working again. 
If you know how to fix it permanently, let me know in the comment section below and thank you in advance. It is not a deal breaker, but it is just a little annoying. Overall, I will highly recommend you to get the Filtrox Speed Booster because the narrow view of view and not too good low light performance of the M50 are the major weaknesses and this adapter helps a lot solving them. If you're staying, I'll tell you why I'm keeping both the Filtrox Speed Booster and the Canon EF to M adapter. The Canon EF to M adapter is not a speed booster. It is just an adapter for you to mount EF and EF lenses onto your M50. Yep, the first reason why I'm keeping this adapter as well is because I'm able to use EFS lenses on my M50 with this. EFS lenses are the cheaper, lighter lenses for APS-C cameras, so I have more lens choices. Again, the Filtrox Speed Booster does not work with EFS lenses. The second reason is because of the narrower view of view compared to the Filtrox. I know you might be very confused. I thought you wanted a wider view. Yes, that depends on the situation. Now I can bring just one lens, let's say my 17 to 40 millimeter lens with the Filtrox Speed Booster, and I'll have about 20 to 45 millimeter focal length. With the Canon adapter, it'll be about 27 to 64 millimeter, which gives me that extra reach. It will be just like bringing two lenses for different purposes. Just keep in mind that you will be losing one stop of light with the Canon adapter. That's it. I think the Filtrox Speed Booster is doing a really great job as promised. If you have any questions about this adapter or if you have anything you want me to review on this channel, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, share it with your friends and family to help this channel grow. Thanks for watching, good luck creating, and I'll see you guys next time.